Hello everyone, and sorry about this, but today I am not filming on my desk. Today I am filming on my bed, because my desk is like covered with duct tape and stuff like that. So, yeah. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bracelet, and this bracelet is called the Unicorn Fluff Bracelet. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm trying to focus. Okay, um, I don't know why I wanted to call this the Unicorn Fluff Bracelet, but I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's the Unicorn Fluff Bracelet, and let's get to the tutorial. Okay. So today you will be needing a rainbow room, and yes, you will need a rainbow room because it will not turn out right if you have a regular room because you are going to need a room that can be set into the square set position. So, yeah, and you will need a hook. And you will need bands in the colors of white and any other color. But I suggest using um, either silver instead of white. Because like you need like a bright color for a unicorn. And you wouldn't need any glitter bands. Um, oh, yeah. I will be doing an upcoming giveaway is soon once i get my p.o box and we have bought some limited edition and they have been discontinued and it is a pack of 600 glitter bands and it comes in pastel purple pink turquoise orange and kind of like a mint color and it looks kind of like mint so Today I'm going to be making a mint colored one. So let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so first you're going to start off with one white or silver, depends on what you're using. Just going to go straight forward. And then you're going to go out. And you're going to go out again. And then after that, you are going to go all the way down on the side. So, I'm only going to do this three times, and then I'm going to fast forward until I get there. So, I'm on my second, three, and three. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and now... Hold on. Real quick. This is just bothering me. I'm really sorry about that I'm filming on my uh, bed. But I'm just going to film on my whiteboard. And my whiteboard is for um, my room. But it is also for an upcoming Draw My Life. Um, draw My Life. But that won't be till I... Um, show my face and that will be a while so okay so you uh, I'm really sorry about this but you should stop right before the end what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing as you did with the beginning and have one like out and then like they close in so take one band put it in come on camera focus I hate using my iPhone to film. Okay, so now once you got that, you can go ahead and put a cat band because we don't really need to wait. So, yeah. And now you're going to go back to the beginning with your arrows pointing away from you. And you're going to start out with any color that you think would look good as a unicorn mane 
and you're going to just go forward and then you're going to go out out and then forward and then just repeat that step so it looks like a cross but you can barely see mine because um, I am using mint and it's like a very light mint and it kind of looks like clear so yeah sorry about that so once you have gone up you're just gonna basically repeat it sideways and then go up and then go sideways and then up And request down below if you want a what's in my loom box or a what's on my iPhone video. So. Tell me down in the comments below if you want a themed bracelet because this one was themed off of the unicorn charm from Tutorials by A. And thank you Tutorials by A for inspiring me to make this bracelet. Because I know there's some people out there that still like unicorns, but I don't really like unicorns. Well, it's not like I hate unicorns. Like... They're, they're fine and all, but I don't really like, they're, they're not like my favorite fictional animal. I don't know, my favorite fictional animal would probably be either a dragon or, I don't know, a dragon or, I don't know, oh, a basilisk, a basilisk. I don't know. It, it's the, it's that thing from Harry Potter, the basilisk. I'd either want a basilisk, a dragon, or a mermaid or merman. That is what I'd either want to be a fictional character that could be real. Comment down below what you would want yours to be. And if I didn't say who this was filming the video in, at the beginning of the video, I don't know. I probably didn't say who this was filming. This is CW, and CW is me. Eventually, K will... Um, have a new nickname maybe but eventually K will do a tutorial and what I thought was cool that we are going to add to our channel is a new series and it's going to be a Minecraft series when I get my new laptop and a what is it oh yeah a nail art series and Kay is going to be doing the nail art series because I'm a guy and I do not paint my nails so oh yeah and I'm finished with the end of this bracelet I'm gonna need three more bands I'm trying to find them in the variety of Colors. Yeah, sneak peek. This is the colors that you will get in the package for the giveaway. Anyway, and this is kind of a sneak peek of my wood box, but yeah. And also, those of you guys that have been uh, wanting to see my dog, I'm finally going to be revealing my dog in three. Hey Lola. In three, two, one. That's my dog. So yes, this is my dog. Yeah, this is my dog. 
and she's pretty cute. Lola. She can only do one trick. It's where she stands on her legs and she spins around a circle, but that's the only thing she can do. So, yeah. And that's my dog. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Okay, now back to the tutorial. Um, what you're going to do after that is you're going to loop all the bands. Um, yeah, you're going to loop all the bands. You starting by the cap band, and then we will do an extension at the end of the video. I don't know. So yeah, just going to do that. And then now, we're going to loop all the bands. So, so starting out, we're going to go underneath the cap band. Going to go there, and then go forward. And then just go sideways, and then sideways. And I am going to be showing in my next video how to make a lanyard. And this is what I use for school to hold like my locker key and my house key. And you could use it for your locker or your house key. Or you could use it as a good gift for Christmas or something like that. So yeah. This is what it should look like when you start looping these bands. Okay, so that's what it should look like when you've looped those bands, but you're not going to loop the outside till after you get done with that. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and you should have looped the one last band right here. And now I am going to go back to the cat band. Go back to the cat band. You are not going to do that. You're not going to do that. I'm going to go in the first one and you're going to take the band and loop it to the side and then loop it to the side after you've got that you're going to loop it all the way up till you get to the top of your loom and then stop when you loop them to here stop Okay, I will be right. Okay, so when you're done getting to this, you're just going to loop that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that you got to here before you looped that. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to slowly just take it off. I suggest doing this, but you can also rip it off. And just to make it faster, I'm going to rip it off. Okay, so you should have this, and when all the clear, kind of greenish glitter bands are together, it looks like mint. So, yeah. Mint. By the way, my favorite color. Okay, so now what you're going to do after you have that, you're just going to set it aside. And then you're going to go to your loom here, and then for my wrist, I need... 10 extensions. I have a pretty small wrist. But I do have long fingers. I do have long fingers. So, um, you're just going to go how many links you need for a usual bracelet like the Starburst. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to attach this to the bottom of your extension and then just loop it all the way. So I'm not going to fast forward for this because I don't know. I have fast forward pretty much most of this video. So I'm just going to hurry and get this to where it gets to the end. Okay. So after you've got that, you're going to take this and put a C clip on it. Make sure it doesn't fall off like mine almost did. Okay, and then just take it off the way. Now, you should have this brace. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to combine it. And there you go. You've got your bracelet. Actually, I think I did too much. Okay, well anyway. That's the unicorn fluff bracelet. And I have one that you can look at while I'm fixing this bracelet. Okay. Well, that's the unicorn fluff bracelet. And... Hope you enjoyed. Click like and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, see you later. Bye.